in line with everything that you've mentioned in terms of the national scope of placement and the international scope of placement, you know, generally, what kind of message would you want to give uh, to the students here in Hari University or the students everywhere else that in their career from the first day up until the day of graduation, what, from your own perspective, do you think the students should focus on? Yeah, this is a question which is very close to my heart because uh, uh, since I joined Parul University right. as a training and placement officer, I've been interacting with a lot of students and masses of students have been interacted uh, since last five years. And every time a student would come to me and ask, sir, how can I get a good lucrative job? So my message to all the students, uh, maybe they are from first year to final year, I have few key agendas that the students should follow. First is believe in yourself, right? Now this, uh, I would say phrase you might have heard many a times across different locations, different occasions and uh, what not, right? Everybody would uh, ask you to believe in yourself. Right. But now what exactly is believing in yourself, right? So believing in yourself is not necessary that you keep on pushing yourself uh, to unattainable or unachievable targets, right? But then first you need to introspect yourself that what you actually want in life. I understand that as a student at this point of time, many of the students might not be clear with what exactly they want with their life as well. Talking about students, there are a lot of professionals as well who might not be aware that what they want in life, right? So the only thing that they need to keep in their mind is that just try to do as many new things as possible right? because exposure is the key. The more you get exposed, the more you become aware about the trending technologies across the industry. Exactly. Right? So once you get in touch with more people, more technology, more things, right? you get exposed. And then in order to get exposed, you need to have a belief in yourself that whatever you're going to do, you are going to give your level best. Exactly. Right? So it's not necessary that believing is like you are going for some uh, irrelevant target and then forcing yourself to get into it and then eventually get frustrated. Exactly. I'm not talking about that. But whatever task you take on hand, whether it is small or big, first of all have a belief that definitely you are the right person to get this task executed. Right. At the same time, you will get your desired results, but definitely there will be a lot of efforts that you need to put, right? But just have a faith that this task is going to be done by me and I'm definitely going to be successful in this particular task, whether it is small or big. The second thing um, I would say is think big. One of the best uh, examples of thinking big, I would uh, consider the case of Alibaba. As everybody might be aware that uh, Jack Ma, who was the founder of Alibaba, he had a very long-term uh, uh, objective or a goal, I would say. He wanted to uh, make the entire country, that is China, more comfortable and convenient through e-commerce. And when he started with this particular business, everybody used to criticize him at the same time his team as well, that how you are going to manage the entire business prospect on e-commerce platform because that was the time where software was just introduced and was just the emerging of uh, personal computers in the market. Not everybody was aware with the uh, ecosystem, the uh, technological uh, trend uh, which was going on at that particular point of time. But then Jack Ma had a belief that definitely he would be able to succeed in his initiative of e-commerce. And he thought of such a big dream that he wanted to cater the entire country of China and each and every individual, whether he is from uh, some lower background or maybe a middle class uh, uh, person or citizen over there or maybe the high class. So right now Alibaba is being used by more than 500 million customers across the globe. At the same time, the third point uh, which I would like to emphasize is after thinking big, start really, really small. If you are thinking big, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to start big. Because any particular thing which goes big over a period of time has to definitely start small, right? If you can start at the smallest, that would be the best. That would be the best thing that you can do for yourself, right? Because if you do the things at their smaller level, you would be more clear about the concepts at their at that particular level itself. And once you start making every small concept more and more efficient and effective, your bigger goals will be achieved 
with uh, lesser effort and ease as well right at the same time uh, the fourth thing that i would like to suggest is after uh, you believing in yourself setting up a big target for yourself uh, uh, starting really small then you need to really plan it out any big task if it is divided into lot of smaller sm- a lot of smaller tasks it's going to be very very easier to achieve to your targets right so that is the reason that whenever you take up a big task whether it is a semester exam whether it is a placement whether you want to go and get a lucrative job try to divide those uh, objective into lot of smaller objectives right and that is where you will come with your expertise and perfection as well right and it becomes easier for you to execute as well the uh, fifth thing is once you have plan out the activity you start executing it right execution will require lot of hard hard work persistence and at, at the same time patience is needed exactly. now the major challenge with the millennials and the current generation is the patience part if you might have realized that once i uh, with the emerging of uh, software and the pcs into the market people used to wait for almost uh, uh, maybe 15 20 minutes or half an hour to just open up one email but at this point of time if you see if it takes only 5 seconds to open your up your mail the people lose their patience right so patience is going to be a key if you want to be successful the success is not going to come in a very short span of time it will take a very long long period of time right and it will take a lot, lot of efforts from an individuals and it is fair so as you have believed in yourself you are definitely going to be successful so stick to whatever objectives you have taken up right for a longer period of time and keep on working on it so that you can be successful over a period of time All right sir thank you very much for being with us and uh, thank you my pleasure that you have shared with us and i think this will be very much helpful to all everyone out there and every single student who might consider placement or anything further in terms of their career and achieve that brightest chance of success thank you very much sir thank you